Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, people. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm excited. I'm excited to know my new students. Wow. Well, <laughs> welcome, teacher. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, teacher. <laughs> okay, well, guys, um, my name is Rocio Chicas. I see that I had some students who were in the previous course with me, like Edith and Briseida. <laughs> it's good to see you again, but the others are new for me, so... Nice to meet you. <laughs> and well, I'm gonna share with you in this moment the class presentation you will see it in a moment. Just, just loading, give me a second. So how do you feel in this course number two? Are you nervous or not nervous anymore? So, so. A little bit, a little bit nervous. <laughs> Okay, but it's great for you because you didn't give up. No se dieron por vencido. You didn't give up and you continue in the English course. Great. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, can you see the presentation? Can you yes, see? Yes, I see it. Okay. So the yes. topic is transportation, vocabulary, and conversation. Nice car. This is the first class of beginner two, and it's Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Okay. So let's see. The lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation. And additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates that, which illustrates the topic of transportation. So this is gonna be very fun <laughs> and nice. Guys, We this is the agenda with the activities I have prepared for you. We are gonna have recalling previous knowledge, dictionary, activity two, how do you get to work? Activity three, conversation time. Activity for wrap up. The wrap up is the end of the class when we finish the class. Okay. So, but before that, I need to take the attendance. So, please be ready to say present or here, right? The list. Just give me a moment with the list. I need to. Okay. Give me a moment. Now we have a new list from eight to ten. Okay. Just a second, guys. Okay, so the first person in the list is Alba Jocelyn Romero. Is she present? Alba Jocelyn Romero Lara. Alba, not, not present? Okay. Eh, Amalia Beatriz Tobar. Present. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Amalia. Okay, present. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Present. Thank you. Anderson Emanuel Palomo. And Arely Janet Cornejo Rivas. Arely Cornejo. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. Briseida Janet Garcia. Present. Briseida Yarisa Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carlos Garcia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina García. Not present. Selina Yasmin Pérez. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Selena. Uh, Cindy Fabiola. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Present. Thank you. Christian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Christian. Daniel Enrique. Ayala. Present. Great. Daniel Quijano Gutiérrez. No present. The Edith Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Eduardo Enrique Velázquez. No, Eduardo Enrique Vázquez, sorry. No present. Esa Noelia Portillo. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Erika Noemi Hueso. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Adaí García Ángel. Presente. Thank you, Stephanie. I think you are in a party. <laughs> okay, Evelyn Janet Rivera. Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, Fatima Jocelyn Portillo. Present. Thank you, Gabriel Isabel Guevara. Good evening, everyone. Present. Good evening, Gabriel. Gabriela Alexandra López. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Thank you, Gerardo. Eh, Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jane, Jenny o oh, Jenny. <laughs> Lizera Escobar. Jenny. Present. Jenny. Jenny. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Jose Heriberto Durán. No present. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, your attendance and your punctuality. Is there someone that I didn't mention? I alguien a quien no mencioné? No, todos? Okay. So as I was telling you with the class, let's start. Okay. L to start, what means of transportation do you know? I mean, what means of transportation do you know? Ideas? Means of transportation. Well, to have an idea, I will show you some pictures you raise your hand and you say what mean of transportation you recognize, okay? For example, look at this picture. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. What do you think is the means of transportation? Is the cheapest. The cheapest mean of transportation. <laughs> do you know? Walking. Yes, walking. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, the next one. What is it? It's a taxi. It's a taxi. A taxi. Yes. And what about this one? Riding a bike. It's riding a bike. Exactly. Ride a bike. The most common. Bus. The bus. Take bus. Take a bus. Oh, this is very popular now. Motorcycle. 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 Exactly. Ride a motorcycle. Do you have a motorcycle? Do you have a motorcycle? Raise your hand if you have a motorcycle. Raise your hand. Bike. Levante su mano, raise your hand if you have a motorcycle. Si tiene una motocicleta. Motorcycle, do you have a motorcycle? No? Nobody? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Daniel, do you have a motorcycle, Daniel Ayala? No, not no. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So over here, you can see different ways. Uh, 
to getting around in the city. To get around in the city, you can walk, you can ride a bike, you can, well, in other countries, take the train or take the subway. Maybe one day in El Salvador. But yes, we can take the bus. That is the most common, take the bus or you can take a taxi or take a cab or take an Uber, right? This is very popular now, take an Uber or in driver. <laughs> Ride a motorcycle or if you have a car, you can drive, you drive. Okay, what kinds, what kinds of what types, get tipos, what kinds of transportation do you use? What kind of transportation do you use? A ver, Edith. Uh, walkie. Um, take the bus. Okay. You walk and you take the bus. Thank you, Edith. Yes. Uh, what about Selena Perez? Um, take the bus. I take ride the a motorcycle. Oh, you ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Well, wow, that's great. Carlos Adolfo? Thank you, Miss. Um, I'm walk. Uh, take a taxi or Uber. And eventuality drive. Okay, yeah, the, the gas now is very expensive. <laughs> so it's better to take the bus. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Okay, so these are means of transportation, okay? Medio de transporte, means of transportation. Good. So the question is, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo te vas al trabajo? How do you get to work? You can say, I take the bus to work. Or I drive to work. I drive my car to work. I ride my motorcycle. It's cheaper and it's faster. I ride my motorcycle. Or I walk to school or I walk to work. Okay, that is that it, these are ways, right? How do I get to work? But also there is this other possibility. My husband drives me to work. My husband drives me to work. Mi esposo me lleva al trabajo, okay? Maybe you don't drive, but maybe your husband or your girl or your boyfriend or girlfriend a uh, drives you to work or maybe gives you a ride in the motorcycle, right? So that is another way. You can say that. The subject, the verb, and the complement. Subject, verb, complement, right? Okay, so I would like to hear more, more opinions. How do you get to work, people? or to school if you study in a, or if you go to the university, how do you get there? Gabriel? In my case, I drive to work. Good. Carlos? Thank you, Miss. In my case, I walk to work too. Really? It's, a, it's very close. It's close. It's yes. close to your house. Okay, that's great. That's fabulous. I mean, I wish, I wish I could have my work next to my house. <laughs> okay, what about, um, I don't know, maybe Jose Heriberto? How do you get to work, Jose? Okay, in my case, I try to work. You try to work, okay. Yes, yeah. And let's see, Claudia Cruz? Claudia Carolina. Mm. 
<laughs> yes, Claudia, we hear you. How do you get to work? You take the bus, you drive, you ride your motorcycle, you walk. A ver, Claudia, ¿cómo se va para el trabajo? We don't hear you, Claudia. No le escuchamos, Claudia. I drive. Oh, you drive to work. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Daniel Quijano, do you have a comment? I, I take the bus to work. You take the bus. Okay, what route do you take? What, which bus? The 29, the 52? Um, not, not to understand. Which bus you take? The number of the route, the number of the bus, 42, 52. Ah, I take the bus uh, to go and um, 108. Can you repeat, please? 108. Eight. 108. Wow. Sí. Okay. Ciento nueve. Ah, 109. Ajá. 109. Ah, 109. 109 or 109. 109. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, so let's continue. Oh, another one could be this other possibility. A colleague. A colleague as a co-worker, compañero de trabajo. A colleague gives me, gives me a ride. A colleague gives me a ride. Okay? Y ahí viene la expresión que decimos, dame ride. Dame ride. <laughs> okay, so a colleague gives me, gives me a ride. Okay, so now okay, if you notice, when we talk about another person, a third person, what do you notice in the verb? Yes. Que no tenga el verbo cuando hablo de mi, my husband or a colleague. Plural. Habemos una S. Ajá, we see a uh, S. Ya vamos a ver por qué. Ok. Now, there is another question here. We have some questions. For example, where is your workplace located? Where is your workplace located? What is workplace? ¿Qué es workplace? El lugar de trabajo. Exactly, your workplace. Where is your workplace located? In this moment, it's in my house. <laughs> okay, in this moment, it's in my house. But on, in the, during the day, it's in Santa Tecla. On Saturdays, it's in Comalapa. <laughs> okay. Now, the other question is, where do you work or where do you live? ¿Dónde trabajas o dónde vives? Where do you work or where do you live? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo te vas al trabajo? O si no trabajas, because maybe you are a housewife, eh, how do you get to the supermarket? How do you get to the bank? How do you get home? For example, how do you get to the supermarket? Oh, um, my husband takes me or drives me to the supermarket. How do you get to the bank? I go by bus or I take the bus. Okay. Different opinions. So you will ask these questions in groups. Van a hacerse estas preguntas. Ask and answer these questions in groups. 
Y luego van a compartir, tienen que tomar nota, you take note, porque luego usted va a decir, por ejemplo, Mary takes two buses to get to work. It takes her one hour to get there. María toma dos buses para su trabajo. Le lleva o le toma una hora de llegar allí. Ok, eso es lo que quiero que tomen nota de su compañero. Peter drives to work every day, but he hates traffic. Esa es otra opinión. Puede que trabaje con dos compañeros y entonces luego va a decirme sobre ellos, sobre ellos. ¿Verdad? Pedro maneja todos los días, pero odia el tráfico. He hates the traffic. Les voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp estas preguntas para que las tengan allí. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? A ver, alguien que me diga qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Va a formar grupos y nos vamos a preguntar cómo nos, nos movemos a nuestro trabajo, si en bus, en carro, caminando. Y lo vamos a decir, digamos, Carlos se va en bus a su trabajo, pero en inglés, obviamente. Excellent. Thank you, Brenda. We appreciate your participation. Okay. So, I already sent the questions in the WhatsApp group. ¿Todos están en el WhatsApp group? I hope so. Yes. yes. Okay. So, ready to go into the group and practice. Okay. Go, please. I can answer the questions. Workplace, like, así era, ¿verdad? Ah, Lugar sí. de trabajo. Y, y hay que responder, ¿ves? Uh -huh. ¿A quién comienza? Cindy o Evelyn. Eh. O comienzo yo. Comienza. Tenemos que, que solo habíamos tres, pero podremos practicar. Si quiere, comenzamos con. con Sí, Le pregunto yo si quiere. Va, está bien. Hello, hello, Claudia. No, bueno, no me uní con nadie. Este, lo que sucede es que los, los que le tocan a usted no se han unido. Ay, no. Ajá, ellos ah, quizás tienen problemas. Quiero ver, a usted le toca. Sí, creo que ahí están diciendo que no se puede unir al grupo. Sí, Alba, Alba. Eh, aquí Venga. le voy a mandar a alguien, le voy a mandar a alguien. Esta es la sala 6. Vamos a mandarle a alguien a la sala 6. Ah, ya se unió Alba, ya está aquí. Y ya se va a unir Elsa. Ah, bueno. okay. Y ahí pueden Gracias. practicar. You can practice the questions and take notes. Hello, Alba.
Alba Jocelyn Romero. No se ve. Sí, Hello. Alba. Hello, Alba. Se unió un poquito tarde, ¿verdad, Alba? Ya le puse aquí la asistencia. Mm. No estaba cuando pasé asistencia, ¿verdad? Sí. No, no estaba cuando pasé asistencia. Ah, ok. Sí. Ahorita ya se, la, ya se la marqué. Ok. ¿Tiene las preguntas en el WhatsApp? Sí. No, no me, aparecí, no me aparecen a mí. Eh, es que Claudia, usted se, conecta, se acaba de, de unir al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿eh? Va, ya le van a aparecer. Ahorita la reunión. Ok. Those are the questions that you have to practice. ¿Dónde tú trabajas? Where, uh, where is your workplace located? ¿Dónde está su lugar de trabajo? Where is your workplace located? Where do you work? Or, or where do you live? And how do you get to work? Or how do you get to the supermarket? How do you get to the bank? Etc. Y allí vimos... Ajá. Uh -huh. Go, go, continue. I work place. Mm. <coughs> Where do you live, Alba? Studio, fíjese. Ah, okay. Uh, Where do you study? Uh, I study in Universidad de Salvador. Okay. How do you get there? How do you get to the university? Um, I I have I get I get a car. Oh my car. Sure. Oh my god. Drive? Drive see. Okay, yes. I try to the university. Okay, continue, please. Practice. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you practice? Hello. No, estamos atrapados. Why? Ya a la hora de hacer las preguntas no entendemos muy bien. Ajá, no, no sabemos cómo decirlas porque nunca, bueno, yo en mi caso no había hablado mucho en inglés. Ah. No sé, solo lo en algunas. Uh -huh. Ok, so in my classes you will speak more English. <laughs> But don't worry. Okay, Fatima. Where do you live? ¿Dónde vive? Where do you live? I live in. I live in los planes de render. Where do you live? I live in Ciudad Arce. You live in Ciudad Arce. Okay. And you, Christian, where do you live? I live in Joya de Seren. Really? I have some friends in Joya de Seren. Yes. Yes, my friend's mm. name is Mario and Cindy. They are my friends. <laughs> and they live in Joya de Seren. They, maybe they are your neighbors. <laughs> Son sus vecinos. Maybe they are your neighbors. Okay. And do you work, Fatima? Do you work? Este... ¿Cómo se dice Sabinano? Pero, sorry, can you repeat? Caminando. Caminando. No, mi pregunta ¿Cómo es. Te, entonces, ¿qué voy a... My question is: ¿Do you work? ¿Trabaja? ¿Do you work? Yes. Ok, where? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja? Where do you work? Ahí tengo que decirle el, la, el lugar o el lugar. El, en qué trabajo. The place. I work. Where is... el, el... I work. Uh -huh. de, de, 
el lugar donde trabajo. Ya. Yeah. Su eh, trabajo. No, no le pude entender. No, es como que se le corta. Me, me voy a quitar la audífonos. ¿Ahora me escucha? Yes, it's better. Ah, los audífonos. Este, en, en un beauty. Beauty salon. You work in a beauty salon. salon. You oh, okay. okay. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Do you drive? Do you ride a motorcycle? Room, room, room. Do you walk? Walk. Do you walk? You walk. Okay, <laughs> that's great. And you, Christian? Do you work, Christian? Bueno, en este caso yo no trabajo, ¿verdad? Yo estudio. Okay, you eh, study. Where do you study? Voy a decir en school. Oh, really? Okay. How do you get to school? Do you take the bus or do you walk? Eh, um, walk. You walk. Yes. You walk. Okay, perfect. Thank you for participating. I think we are going to finish here because we need to continue with the class. It was a pleasure to talk to you. I have a question. Todos saben cómo levantar la mano virtual? Levanta yes, la mano teacher. virtual. Para... Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, a ver, levántela. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Yes, teacher. A ver, levántela, pues, quiero ver. Let me see. Ah, ok, there you go, nice. Aún, oh, there's still some people. Raise your hand, raise your hand. A ver, levanten la mano para ver si pueden levantar la mano aquí virtualmente. La mano virtual, solo estamos haciendo una prueba. Ok. Ahora bajemos la mano. Ok. Now, raise your hand, raise your hand if you study. Si usted estudia, if you study, if you study, raise your hand. Si estudia, raise your hand. If you study in the school, in the university, if you study, raise your hand. Oh, we had Brenda, Elsa, Carlos, Briseida, Cristian, Alba, okay, Selena, Arely. Claudia, okay. Now, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Now, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you work. You work every day. You work very hard. Okay. Okay, very good. No importa el tipo de trabajo, que sea propio. Yeah, but you work. It's work. <laughs> so, so guys, I can see some of you work and study. Wow, that's 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 good. You work and study. Okay, okay. Thank you. You can put your hand down. Okay. So, can you tell me now how does your partner get to work? How does your partner get to work? I need participation. For the, okay, Daniel. And then Jose Rivera. First, Daniel. Hola. 
Yes, Daniel. How does your partner get to work? Um, trabajamos con Amalia. Uh, Amalia está working in the no, walking in the bus to get to work. Amalia uh, walks and takes the bus. Uh huh. Um, okay. Amalia, uh, Amalia days to work every day. Is she's not traffic? Okay. When she goes uh, to work, there's no traffic. No traffic. Um, Very nice. She drive. Um, Una ruta, no sé cómo se dice, ruta 3LM, LL. Ok, she gets the bus 3LL. Okay. <laughs> and Amalia says, yes, yes, it's correct. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Ok, um, José Heriberto. Ok, my partner is Briseida. Ok. Um, uh, work work in Soyapango. Oh. And yes, uh, Briseida take a bus in, in Route um, uh, 2029. Okay. Interesting. Tonight, <laughs> 29. Very good. Uh, 20, 29. Per, uh, Sorry. <laughs> okay, Roberto. Thanks a lot. Uh, Daniela Ayala, you, I saw you wanted to participate. Okay. Uh, my group uh, is from, from Gabriel. Uh, okay. The, the Gabriel, where is the player and the other constitution? Um, Gabriel lives in Mexicano and Gabriel drives to work. Okay, how does he drive? He drives. Uh, how he drives to work. He drives to work. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Carlos Garcia. Thank you, Miss. My partner is Carlos Velasquez. Um, the workplace located in Chalatenango. Mm, Chalatenango, okay. Yes. Uh, she, he, he, to work, drive. He drives uh, to work. He dri he's drive to work. He, to walk, he walked to the supermarket. And he walks to the supermarket. Okay, and where does he live? Where does he live? Donde vive? Where does he live? Okay, live, he, he live in, just a minute, just a minute. Chalatenango, Tejutla. He lives in Tejutla and he works in Chalatenango City. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Amalia? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, he's lived in Refugio, Aguachapan. Oh, he lives in Aguachapan and he works in Chalatenango. Yes, it is. That's a long distance, very far away. Right, so much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Amalia? Uh, is word uh, Daniel? Daniel. Is coincidence the uh, lo mismo que Mari? Coincidence. It's a coincidence. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, takes to to bus to get to work. I text in here of hours to her approximate. It takes the traffic two hours to get to work. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Eh, no datos más este mo, más datos no more information no more information 
Okay, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for your participation. Okay, I was telling some of you that in my classes, you are the most important. I mean, you will speak more than the teacher because the objective or yeah, the objective, the goal is that you speak English, right? I already speak English. So that's why I ask my students to participate, to speak. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, si it doesn't matter, no problem. We are not perfect, we are humans and we are learning. So making mistakes is normal, okay? Good, so I hope that in the next classes, we're gonna have even more participation. Good, so in here, you can see, right, the structure, the structure for this question. Para responder esta pregunta, how do you get to work? How do you get to school? We can say, I take the bus, I take the train, I take the taxi. The subject, the verb, and the complement. I drive my car, subject, verb, complement. I walk to work, subject, verb, complement. I ride a motorcycle or I ride a bicycle. Subject, verb, and complement. Esa es la estructura de las oraciones en presente simple. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. And you can see it right there. Okay? Sujeto, verbo, y complemento. Ahora, podemos hacer otro tipo de oraciones. No solo, how do you get to work? For example, pueden escribir en el chat ¿Qué haces todos los días? Algo que usted hace todos los días. What do you do every day? What do you do every day? What is something you do every day? For example, I take a shower every day. Ahí lo pueden ver en el chat. I take a shower every day. I feed my cat every day. Ah, okay, somebody said I cook. Erika, I cook every day. I cook too. I cook, I cook. Sería edit sin el ING. Solo I cook every day. I have English class. Puede ser en su caso. No lleva el ING. Este, estas oraciones en el presente simple no llevan ING. I cook every day. I work. I work. Sería Edith. Edith creo que era. Arely, perdón. No, perdón. Carlos, Carlos. Arely está bien. Ajá, what is something you do every day? All right. I want to read your messages. Write a message. I participate in the class every day, teacher. I brush my teeth. Okay. I cook and study. <laughs> I work. Okay. Yeah, we have to work if you want to eat. <laughs> I walk every day to my work and also I eat ice cream. <laughs> I study, study, okay, Carlos, that's nice that you eat ice cream every day. I take a shower, that's important. A brush me every day. Evelyn, sería, I brush my teeth every day. I take my children to school. Excellent, Jacqueline. I study, I work, I take my children, I take a shower. I prepare my husband's breakfast every day. I prepare my husband's lunch and breakfast. Every day, so that he can he can eat at work. <laughs> okay, good, good. Thank you for your participation. Now, if you notice, we have another question, and is how does she get to work? Okay, in the in the present simple, in el presente simple en inglés, tenemos terceras personas que en el presente son El verbo se usa de forma especial. Y ese es she, he, and it. Third person singular. 
tercera persona singular. Third person singular. She, he, and it. She, he, and it. ¿Sí lo ven? She, he, and it. Third person singular. Entonces, en el presente simple, when we use she, he, or it, el verbo, el verbo, lleva la S. En algunos casos, solo se la vamos a agregar. En otros casos, le vamos a agregar una E y una S. Y en otros casos, le vamos a cambiar la Y por I y S. Por ejemplo, study, le voy a poner un ejemplo. El verbo study, S, D, U, D, Y. Pero le quito la Y y le I write I, E, S. Studies. Studies. Okay, so we have the examples here. In the third person, we say she takes the bus, she drives her car, she walks to work, she rides a motorcycle. And it's very, very important to pronounce the S. It's very important to pronounce it, okay? So you can practice she takes, she drives, she walks. She writes, she eats, she studies, she cries, she washes the dishes or she washes the clothes, right? She goes, etc. Ahora vamos a escribir en el chat. In the chat, you're going to write a, a um, sentence about someone in your family. For example, I will write about my mom. My mom cooks every day. My niece goes to school. My cat, my cat, preside in edit. No, my cat, my cat sleeps a lot. My cat sleeps a lot every day. Now I need you to, to tell me, vamos a ver. My mother cooking, a ver, Cristian, sería my mother cooks. Ahorita nos vamos a olvidar del ING. Este, el ING es el presente continuo. Vamos a solo trabajar con el presente simple. Es más simple. My mother cooks, ¿ok? Vamos a ver qué otro ejemplo. My father drives trucks. Tenemos, por ejemplo, my mother takes a shower a lot every day. My, my dog plays. Ah, muy bien, solo le falta ponerle la S. My child walks. To her school, my dog plays with a ball. My mom talks with me every day. That's okay. My daughter studies. My brother drives a motorcycle. Okay. Good. Excellent. Remember to put the yes. I want to read more messages. My daughter studies. My son. Okay, Adelie. Sería my son watches TV. My son watches TV. My son eats all day long. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, when they are little, they eat a lot. My wife cooks every day. Okay, very good, Carlos. You have a good wife. My brother works, Claudia. My dad works. My nephew studies. My husband works very hard. Okay, your husband works very hard. Very hard that he gets tired. Maybe husband works. Works very hard. That he gets very tired every day. My mom cooks, my brother works, and my nephew studies every day. My niece plays with her doll. Excellent, Elsa. 
teacher. Yeah. Es correcto. My brother plays soccer. So soccer. Uh, soccer. My brother plays soccer. Yes. My brother plays soccer. Very good. I work with people and my brother plays. My brother plays soccer. Una, una pregunta, y ahí es como que estemos hablando en presente, no presente continuo, ¿verdad? Yes, it's present simple. Okay. Not present continuo. Present. Okay. okay. Uh, my mom kisses me every day in the morning. Oh, that's sweet. My brother works every day. My son plays soccer. Excellent. Son activities that we do every day. Activities que hacemos como habits, daily routines, como rutina. Okay. We always do. Well, guys, we only have eight minutes to end the class. We have here a conversation, but maybe we can have it next class tomorrow, right? Because of the time. So this is gonna be just a review of what we studied today. Remember the, the, the structure or the formula. The formula is this, subject, verb, complement, affirmative, affirmative. In negative, in negative form, usamos el auxiliar don't. Y para la tercera persona, usamos doesn't. And the verb. Okay? So we have affirmative and negative. Affirmative, I ride a bike in the park. You take a taxi. He rides a motorcycle to work. She rides a motorcycle to work. It runs fast. Corre muy rápido. It runs fast. We walk home. Caminamos a casa. We walk home. You take the bus in the bus stop. They have a nice car. Uh, okay, I have two participants. Uh, Amalia? Amalia? Bueno, en lo que soluciona el audio, Gabriel? Uh, in this case, you take a taxi. It's not a third person. You? No. You is second person. Second, okay. I, you. Solo vemos dos. He ya es tercera persona. He, él, she, ella, and it, para objetos o animales. It. You es segunda persona. Thank you. Uh -huh. Amalia. I walk in the, ay, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se le dice la cancha? Soccer field. Soccer field. Yo se lo voy a decir. Soccer, Soccer field. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahí lo escribí en su... Va a escribir para todos. Yes. For example, she doesn't rise. Eh, that's correct. Okay. Bye. Ahora, la misma oración que ustedes hicieron... Ah, bueno. Les voy a enseñar aquí el simple present negative. El subject don't doesn't y el verbo. El verbo cuando lleva el auxiliar, la tercera persona, el verbo no cambia. No le agregamos ese. ¿Por qué? Porque ya está el auxiliar y el auxiliar nos indica que es tercera persona. Singular. Entonces tenemos los ejemplos. Las mismas oraciones aquí en negative. I don't ride a bike in the park. You don't take a taxi. He doesn't ride a motorcycle to work. She doesn't ride a motorcycle to work. It doesn't run fast. We don't walk home. You don't take the bus in the bus stop. 
they don't have a nice car. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué significa aquí? No, no ando en bicicleta en el parque. No tomo el taxi. Él no maneja una motocicleta al trabajo. Ella no <coughs> maneja motocicleta al trabajo. No corre rápido. No caminamos a casa. Tú, ustedes no toman el bus en la parada de bus. Ellos no tienen un carro chido. ¿Ok? Entonces, a veces para decir el negativo, algunos que dicen I not, pero no es I not, es I don't. ¿Ok? ¿Heriberto? Sí, teacher, I have a question. What's your question? Yes. He doesn't ride a motorcycle to work. Is es montar o manejar montar o manejar bicicleta ok, right, thank you thank you You're excuse welcome. me no, no, worry, it's ok it's ok to ask, it's better to ask ok, ahora vamos a escribir oraciones en negativo pueden hacer las mismas que ya hicieron pero en negativo u otras but in negative ok try to use uh, first Person, second person, or third person. First and third person will be okay. For example, I don't teach math. I don't teach science. Christian, do you have a question? Yes. Me puede explicar de nuevo el don't y el doesn't. Ok. Es solo para decirlo en, por, en negativo. Por ejemplo, sería yo no monto bicicleta en el parque. O no ando en bicicleta en el parque. Tú no tomas el taxi. Ahora, el doesn't es para la tercera persona. En el, en el afirmativo, ¿qué hacemos con el verbo en tercera persona? ¿Cristian? No sé. En afirmativo, la tercera persona, en afirmativo, la tercera persona le ponemos una S al verbo. Porque la tercera persona en el presente simple tiene esa regla o esa característica especial. Pero en el negativo, el verbo no lleva la S. ¿Por qué? Porque lleva el auxiliar. El auxiliar es doesn't. Pero el doesn't Solo se usa para he, she, and it. He doesn't ride a motorcycle. She doesn't ride a motorcycle. It doesn't run fast. ¿Hoy sí, Cristian? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm going to read your Thank messages. You. You're welcome. My brother doesn't take a bus to work. My mother doesn't work every day. I don't ride a motorcycle. Excellent, what do you say? That? My, ch my child doesn't play in the tablet. Great. My knee doesn't walk fast. I don't take a bus to work. He doesn't walk to school. She doesn't eat chicken. <laughs> great, great, guys. You're very smart. Those are perfect sentences. Very good. Okay, guys, it's just one minute for 9 p.m. I need to finish here because I have a class at 9. Okay, Carlos, my mother, ah, okay, Casa, sería my mother doesn't cook. My wife doesn't walk. We don't watch TV. He doesn't play. But en el negativo y en preguntas, el verbo no va a llevar la S. Okay? Y tercera persona, como my mother and my wife, tiene que ser doesn't. Thank okay, you. people, it was a pleasure to meet you uh, today. <laughs> I need to say goodbye, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye